morning. It's today's, what day is it today? Today's Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Yeah, so I have a, to shoot a quick ad and then I need to go to a Pilates class. I booked a free session with a new studio. So I would really love to make it and get that class done. So I would really like to make that Pilates class get um, that session in because I'm on the hunt for a new studio that I would love to go to, but I haven't found one that's quite right yet. So yeah, it's currently 10.52 um, and I need to be done shooting by 11, 11, 20. Um, that would be perfect. So not a lot of time, but because I'm only um, shooting and I'm not like talking in the video, I don't see why it would take me long. Horrible, just as I thought it would be. All right, so I'm just gonna get started on shooting. Okay, so I'm all done shooting. Um, the campaign is for Gucci's new lip plumpers, which you know is right up my alley because I love a plumper so much. I love a plumper. Um, it was a difficult shooting because I have a cut on this finger. And if you guys can see, I cut myself the other day while chopping some carrots. And um, because it's a up close kind of product like the cut kept showing so i really had to try my hardest to hide it like you know hide it underneath and do all these awkward finger move, um, movements but um yeah my hands look so nice because i'm using essie's new cuticle oil um one of my pet peeves and something that i'm going to be working on which is kind of like a self-care it's on my self-care vision board and yes i have multiple i have one for fashion one for hair goals one for financial goals but on my self-care goal is like dry cuticles oh my goodness up close if you saw my nails like of course they look stunning and stuff but my cuticles were always so dry because i do pick at them or cut them down so much to a point where they just look crazy. So yeah, cuticle care is heavy on my list and taking breaks from acrylics, gel, whatever it is to let my nail beds breathe because the past few weeks, not having anything on, my nails are so tender and sensitive and I had to really rebuild that strength to bring my nails back to a healthy place where when I would touch stuff and no longer hurts. So definitely gonna do that. But yeah, the video is for some plumpers by Gucci and they are so lovely. I love how extremely shiny they are. And as you can see, no sticky stuff. It's not sticky, it feels so good on. Oh, and the final thing that's like amazing, there's no like burning sensation. The thing about plumpers is that I wear them a lot and sometimes it becomes a problem, like they tingle so much or they cause irritation. Or if you wanted to, let's say, kiss a person, like their mouth will be burning too. And so I love that this just not have that sensation. You're also able to lick your lips and it doesn't come off. Like it won't be getting inside your mouth and you're eating it, none of that. So I like it. All right, so it's officially 11.32. My Pilates class is at 12. So yeah, I need to skedaddle, get going. So... I decided to cancel the 12 p.m. class just because it's 11:36 right now. Um, 
it's maybe like 15 20 away and i do know that they liked you to come at least 15 minutes before your schedule time for a tour of the studio which i always try to get or have just because every pilates studio is different and i hate when i go to a class and i'm like struggling to put the little things on um, of how their reformer works because every every studio is different um so um, I just don't want to go there and like hold up the instructor and other people from their workouts um, So I'm gonna just wait but as far as I can see from their Google site It looks pretty standard um, like a standard reformer um, Yeah, so I think it should be fine, but I'm excited to do Pilates again. I really enjoy I love that it's also a core focus, which is my problem area. My core is so weak It's not about having abs or anything I just want a stronger core because the core is the, the Center of your body. So it needs to be strong I'm working on running which will help with that cardio aspect and then I will try to lift a little bit of weights. We do have a little gym thing here. So I will lift weights when I'm home because I have help to kind of, you know, do that to quite possibly, you know, build a little booty or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's been four days since I'm like wearing my real hair out. Some days I love it. Some days I hate it. But I'm still trying to figure out how to style it because it's not necessarily in a style currently. It's just like a grown out look. So you, it takes a lot of, you know, finessing to get it to look good. So as you guys can see, I have a lot of length at the back. It's really nice and, you know, thick and full and stuff. Um, if this were a pixie cut, you know, you just kind of like shave it down and you just, you know, style up here, whatever, right? But back is not really my problem because all I do is I wrap it at nights and once I take it down, the back just lays pretty flat. Because my bangs are so short, I have considered like putting a little air, a hair piece and, you know, a little track. Giving like Jonas Brothers, punk rock, Jake and Ryan kind of, no. So this is not gonna work. So yeah, this is the length of my bangs naturally, and I can't wear it like this. It looks so odd. Okay, now that my class is at 5 p.m., I now have a lot of time to kill, so I'm just gonna edit my content that I need to send over to my management team, who returns to office tomorrow, the third. So I kinda just wanna have everything that's due over to them. I've been using, well, you guys know about this. I use Vegamore Drops Hair Growth Serum. I use it a lot on my hair, um, especially when I was suffering from hair loss earlier in like 2023. So now I'm gonna do some planning. I'm using this planner that I picked up from Target in last week's vlog, you guys saw when I went. So I picked this up, it's just a planner and it's a note notepad. So it just has plain paper. I just wanted something that's plain that I could just jot things down on, um, important stuff, goals, that whole, you know, notes. And then this is my daily planner, which I think I ordered this from Amazon a while back. So I use this for my daily planning. And then this is more like a day planner. So it has like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Now I'm just gonna get the footage from the Gucci video on my um, computer see what that looks like I'm hoping that everything looks good first outfit of the day I'm wearing this set from Lululemon this is not new you've seen this before um, this is the Align tank and then this is I forgot what leggings these are but it's not the Align and then just the Define jacket in this tan color also have a retinol patch on my neck and um, yeah that's the outfit of the day Okay, we're done cropping the video. Now I'm writing out my script for the voiceover. Video is only 17 seconds long. So whatever I have to say, 
I need to say it in that short amount of time. And if you guys know, I do have a stutter. It's pretty bad. You guys don't hear it as much when I vlog because when I'm alone, it's not as bad. But the moment I start speaking to a person, I stutter way more. And um, technically I'm by myself too because like you guys aren't really here. I'm talking to a camera, so it's easier to speak, but voiceovers, stressful. Um, speaking to a, a room of people, stressful. It's, for voiceovers, I like to have a script because it's easy for me to not stutter when I'm reading as opposed to speaking off top of my head. So yeah, let me just write this script out. So when you shoot campaigns, you do have a couple pointers they would like for you to hit. You know, such as such as ingredients, benefits, um, just things that they would like for you to highlight. The only thing is, it's quite a bit of information and they want the video to be in the sweet spot of 15 to 20 seconds. So I'm thinking like, how do you guys expect me to say all of this in that short amount of time? But I've paraphrased and um, I think I have everything down. And when I write out uh, my script, I also put like punctuation, so periods, commas, so I know to like pause. <laughs> Cause whenever I do my voiceover, I don't do that. And it sounds like I'm winded. I was not expecting it to be this tiny. Like it's way smaller than I thought it was going to be, like really small. But I feel like I'm just gonna use this as a like cooking spoon holder. Morning, I'm getting ready for Pilates. Just doing a little skincare slash makeup. I haven't been wearing makeup to my classes, but I decided that I'm going to start. I have like 20, so I have 20 minutes and some change to get out of here. Um, so I can be on time. Um, this is the first studio I've gone to that has a closed door policy, meaning that if you're late, you can't come in. <laughs> um, which is kind of, oh, really understand. They don't want when, you know, people come in late, the instructor has to waste any time. Um, you know, telling them what workout we're on, or, um, you know, I'm using this concealer by Rose Ink Beauty Elixir. It's not really a setting spray, but it's gonna act as one. Okay, fragrance, fragrance, fragrance. What are we gonna wear? I kind of feel like, I'm still loving these one by Maison Louis. Um, they smell so good. I'm gonna wear this one just because it's so fresh. Oh, it's so fresh. And they last, oh my gosh, you'll be smelling this on yourself for like hours and I'm very shocked by that because it's not pricey. But you know what? Um, price does not equate to longevity when it comes to fragrances anymore because I have this $23 one from Amazon that is still stuck on my clothes yeah but i love a fresh scent in the morning if i did not have those i would usually just go in with my joe malone wood sage and sea salt this is and it smells so good with whatever i just paired it with from maison louis like it smells so good oh 
it would just add like a very a creamy element to the wood sage. Chef's kiss. This is my outfit. Now that you guys can see me clearer. I'm wearing these leggings that are so ugly, but um, I don't wear these at all anymore. Only when it's like my time, I wear these. <laughs> um, I just don't like the print. It makes me look whiter, which isn't always a bad thing. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna make some coffee. I got this in a care package from my team. This little cute little tumbler mug thing. This is, says Octave BBB on it. I'm gonna make a little bit of coffee in here or espresso shot, rather, espresso shot. Um, and have a bite of a croissant and then I'm just gonna head out. I need to leave in five minutes so I don't have a lot of time. It is much later in the day. It's approaching five o'clock, but it's already getting dark. Um, but I'm over here making, well, I'm prepping the stuff to make like well, garlic oil. Um, it's just garlic infused cooking oil or olive oil that I love to cook with because it makes your food taste amazing. And I also like season it too. So I was like, you know what? Let me just put the camera on and share with you. I also just ran to Whole Foods really quickly just to grab dinner for today and tomorrow. I'm on a health kick, but not a kick. This is my new lifestyle. I'm claiming it. So I went to just get chicken breast, um, shrimp, sweet potato and asparagus, and also some bok choy. I tried to just grab ingredients for two days worth of dinners. That way nothing is like sitting in the freezer for mad long or anything like that. If you love garlic, you're really going to enjoy this. Just slap it and the, it just comes right out. Do this also before you shower because you're going to smell like garlic. Now I'm gonna take some olive oil. So you can do this one. This one's pretty good. This is why I'm using it. Really great flavor. And put as much as you want. I put a little bit of parsley just to add a little bit of greenery. I do a little Italian crushed red pepper. And although I'm using dried herbs, feel free to use fresh ones if you have them. They are, I mean, actually it's much better if you use fresh. Um, I just don't have a lot of herbs. I told myself I'm not gonna buy a lot of herbs anymore just because it's pointless. I'm, I'm gonna start my herb garden in the spring for sure. Just plant a couple of different herbs, rosemary, thyme, that whole thing because it's pointless to buy them. But this is how it's going to look. But that's what it's going to look like. And we're just gonna put this in the oven and let it just basically cook in the oil infused. And you can cook with the garlic if you want, chop, chop them up, or use the oil to, you know, cook whatever you want. But it's so good and just adds such great flavor to your dishes. Look at that, it looks so good and oh, it smells so good in this house. So getting some chicken ready for dinner, some chicken breast, and um, I'm just gonna drizzle a little of the oil. So simply just stir it up. And just do a little oil. It's gonna be so yum. So for dinner, no cook with me. We're doing thing. We're doing something really simple. So just asparagus, as you can see here, drizzled with that garlic oil, salt, pepper, and pepper flakes. And I'm baking these, or I don't know, baking these on a pizza tray because it has the little holes. So it helps to keep the asparagus crispy as they're baking. And um, I also have the chicken breast going, as you saw, and over here two sweet potatoes. 
I also picked up two poppies. I've never tried their cola flavor and I'm such a Diet Coke girl. So I'm like, you know what, let me try their cola. And this one says Doc Pops. I'm assuming it's Dr. Pepper. So I haven't had Dr. Pepper soda since I was a child. I don't even remember what it tastes like, but I decided to just grab this just to um, have. All right guys, it's Sunday, the day that you're gonna be watching this. Um, I took some time off to think and I'm going to be going back to my extensions. I really wanted to, you know, be extension free in 2024, but it's not gonna work out, okay? I'm going to be getting my hair done professionally. I'm definitely going to be wearing extensions, but I'm just not really sure what form or how they're gonna be installed yet because I have to go through a consultation first. Obviously, because my hair is a little bit longer, I have more options now. Before my hair was shorter and I could only do one thing, which was wear wigs. But regardless, I'm gonna be filming today, so I'm gonna be just be wearing one of my units. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> this, is, this is literally a different person. I always get asked how I um, install my hair. Like, what do I do? I don't do anything special. I really just put it on. And if I wanted to, I could really just leave it like this and don't like glue it down or anything. But I just glue it down just to kind of get more wear and to just have it look a lot more natural. Just taking that tail comb and I'm just combing the hair backwards, but also pressing in to the lace. And I feel that it really helps to melt it. Also, in a few of my videos, I was like, oh, I would never wear a wig. Like, they always look so wiggy. I mean, I still don't love wigs. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and pre pretend. I still don't love them. But I definitely now know and understand that you need to just get a good one. That was the hard part. Now is where the fun begins. I use my Kendra spray and I just, is it called Kendra? Kenra, <laughs> Kenra spray. And I just spray like the top, for example. What we're doing is just flattening the top. In a way, I feel like I've not lost myself. I kind of feel like I stopped caring about a lot of things. Like I stopped caring and um, kind of like let myself go. I can't believe I'm saying that. I cannot believe I'm saying those words. I mean, not to the extent of what those words mean, but in a way, kind of on my way there, if that makes sense, but I feel like it doesn't. So I don't know if you guys can see, but my nose is peeling, my skin is peeling a lot this morning. Um, don't know if you know or if I've mentioned, but I'm back on Curology. So my skin is still getting used to the formula. I know most of you are team Octavia in short hair, but I'm team Octavia with long hair. I. <laughs> It's probably toxic to say, but I don't know. I feel like whenever I have my little bundles, you know, my little inches, <laughs> she's back. <laughs> yeah, I need to work on having the same level of confidence with my natural hair as I do with this on my head. Um, but that's a job for a therapist, not you. So I will, yeah, we'll take it from here. But I'm gonna shoot some videos for the day. Um, my goal is to shoot two. That would really make me feel accomplished and also to edit this vlog and get it up for you guys. But before I go, let me just do my makeup. Again, today's gonna be a filming day for me. Um, the weather is kind of, so I don't really know how it's gonna go. But I figured I'd show you guys my makeup because I've been doing my makeup differently lately. I've been underpainting. A, a makeup trend that is so old, but I never got on it because I figured I'm not like a makeup trend person Let's just say that I'm doing my concealer first as you can see I'm gonna clean up my brows because I just did a messy job So you're doing everything that you would typically do without your foundation being on I know I'm gonna be taking my makeup by Mario concealer in the darkest shade that they offer I'm just gonna Add here for contour. Also gonna take our blush, Rare Beauty. This is the only liquid blush I own, so. I washed all my beauty blenders, so let me go get them from the washroom. Oh, it's so beautiful out now. Let me lower the brightness, because I don't need as much. And it looks so crazy, I know, but it's gonna come together, I hope. 
these things came in from bobby brown i haven't really tried them out yet but they're basically eyeshadow sticks this is one is a taupe color this one is a darker color which i'm gonna put right here in the crease and i'll blend that out use this part of the brush to kind of blend this out oh that's actually really that's different I love it though. I don't do too much, you guys. I'm not an eyeshadow person. Just wanted to check in before I go, but this is what I'm wearing for today's filming day. Um, this top is from a company called Commence. I recently discovered them um, on online. It's like a Zara, but better quality by a smidge and um, just unique stuff. So I've been checking out their site a lot for just those kind of like tops you know those tops that you can film in or pair them with jeans or trousers and look somewhat put together so i love this one it's just a black um, front here and then it has the nude in the back and you're also able to wear this um either which way you want so black or nude so i love that idea and i purchased some other things from there too i was gonna do a haul but just got four things and i'm not making a video for four on things so I wear the other pieces soon and I'll, I'll be sure to just tag them in the description box of my vlogs but yeah this is how the makeup turned out and I'm just wearing this top with my Lezzy pants so, and these earrings are from Anthropology. I am obsessed with them they're so good. Um, they are a little bit heavy though I feel like they are the kind of earrings that stretch your piercing um, holes out but I don't wear them for very long so I think it should be fine. Nothing fancy. I do, I've shot so far two, no, I'm sorry, two YouTube videos and two TikToks. So pretty successful day. I also ran out to get my nails done, just my simple set. Um, I'm trying to figure out what my signature nail look is gonna look like, and I think this is the one. It's simple, it's natural looking, and it's just perfect, so yeah. I think we figured that out. You know, I'm still in that um, process of just figuring out my personal style, my personal aesthetic, my personal everything. Something that I can stick to and most importantly, something that makes me feel good because that's always going to be the end goal, me being happy. Still in the process of doing that. So, you know, sorry for the different hair changes, you know, this, this, and then this, that, but bear with me you know life is all about discovering yourself and discovering things and discovering in general so it might be chaotic for a bit but you know remember to give me grace but also give yourself grace to try things out as always you know thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys so much um i'm just gonna finish up working get this vlog up for you guys and clean up my office and you know the usual stuff so Thanks a lot for being here. I love you so much. Bye.